So today we're going to try out some mica powders. This is something that uh, I found out about recently and I think it's going to be very very cool. These are little vials of powder. They use this to uh, color soap, you know, homemade soap and candles. You can put it in epoxy. I believe it's what women put on their eyebrows too. You know, when they put it all over their eyebrows and they walk up to you and it scares the crap out of you. Like they look like a clown. Anyways, but look at some of these colors. This is magenta, but man, that is bright. Got a blue, purple, lavender, purple, lemon yellow, copper. Man, just all kinds of stuff. 21 of these for eleven ninety seven. Twenty one of these. You just need a tiny speck each time you use it. Now to make this stuff you're gonna have to mix it. You're gonna need some type of a clear coat. I'm using some testers clear coat. This is a nice gloss coat. And some thinner because you're gonna have to thin it so it will go through your airbrush. Uh, you don't need anything special like this. This is Mr. Color Level Thinner. Uh, I like this a lot for certain paints. I probably won't use it with this because this is not really a normal paint. I will just use regular thinner. The same stuff you can buy at the hardware store. Get a gallon of it or something. I keep it in this little jar here. And we're going to do about a 50-50 mix of this and thinner. And then we just take a little bit of this, and we've, we're ready to spray. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this in a little mixing cup. Ooh. I'm going to put about the same amount of thinner in there. I am going to go ahead and mix this together just a little bit. It's not much, I know, but I don't need much. I'm just going to do a spoon here. <clears throat> and then you take your mic mica powder. And you're just going to take a little bit on the end of a stick like that. That's probably more than I really need. And we are going to stir that up. Look at that. Look at that. And we'll put that in our brush and spray it. Okay, my exhaust fan is on and I am wearing a respirator, so it's going to be hard to hear me. I'm doing a, ba a black background. It's a light coat, I'm just drying it right now. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's a great color. Woo! I love it. Lavender purple. Okay, here's some copper shine it's called.
should probably strain this actually. Get a little funnel with a strainer in it. Just in case you get some chunks in there. Now I'm doing this at 15 pounds. I'm spraying at 15 pounds, but I'm using my Badger Patriot, which has a, a 0.5 needle. It didn't work great through my little Neo, which is a 0.3. And I don't know for sure if it's... If it's the... Uh, Pull some dust off of this. If it's the needle size or just my Neo doesn't like it, I don't know. Alright, so I'm gonna put a real light coat on. I'm gonna dry it just a little bit. Put a little more on. Yeah. That's a fine copper. That's a good looking copper. There's nothing wrong with that. Alright, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to try the sky blue. See what that looks like. Okay, if you're curious as to where I get these shot glasses, or these little mixing glasses, they are shot glasses. I got them at Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty-five, you get twenty-four of them. Um, they're hard plastic, so if you try cleaning them, sometimes you end up cracking them. But you know they're pretty inexpensive. I usually would buy some from uh, Amazon. You can get them that actually have measurements on them, and they're softer plastic. You can actually clean them if you want to, but you can buy them in bulk, and they're actually quite a bit cheaper. But a dollar twenty-five for twenty-four of them is not bad at all. Okay, so remember, equal parts of your gloss coat and your thinner. Let's see what this sky blue looks like. Bad, nice, nice color. I didn't make quite enough. I was going to put some on the other side with the copper. I put some on the other side and see, it looks pretty good on white too. It's just a little different. Well, this has no primer on it at all. This is actually a cream colored spoon. I'm impressed. 1197, 21 colors. Clear coat's not all that expensive. Thinner's not very expensive. You got yourself some paint. Okay, I'm kind of curious if I can use an acrylic. This is Creatix Gloss Clear Coat. This is a water-based acrylic. I'll do it with something I've already used, the copper. And we'll see what it looks like with that. Now the good th one thing about this, if it works, is I don't have to um, thin this, which would be great. But not only do I not have to thin it, ooh, nasty. Being water based, you don't have to breathe in all that junk. <laughs> Man, I don't really like using lacquers and paint thinner and this is easier to clean it just cleans really easily so I'm gonna put that's probably plenty it doesn't mix as well that's for sure look at that
That's pretty thick, actually. Looks quite different. Doesn't seem to cover quite as good. You see more of the black through it. And it's hard to get it thin just right. It's easy to thin it too much or not enough. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. So here they are with a gloss coat over them. I used Aqua Gloss, Alclad's Aqua Gloss on it, and it I didn't put quite as much on these two, I guess. I don't know. Can't tell. Too bad I screwed up, so you got a big blob of white there and there. Yeah. That's a pretty purple. I like it. I love this blue. It's the navy blue. Sky blue. Might look better on a lighter primer. And this looks great. I love this copper. Looks great. Now this is the exact same thing with the Creatix. So it doesn't seem to mix quite as well. But these came out glossy. This is the Creatix. It's nice and glossy. These came out very flat even though I'm using a gloss coat. Tester's gloss coat top coat. This is supposed to be a white pearl. It's got some blue in it or something. I think it's just, it might just be from the black. Maybe it needs to be on a lighter primer. I... But this is, these are both the Creatix. So they are, they do look different. And it comes out of the gun differently too. Eleven ninety-seven, twenty-one 21 colors. They seem to spray well. I like them. I will leave a link to where you can get this on Amazon. Hey, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a lot. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.